Are we in an AI bubble? Huge investments are being made in artificial intelligence, but is this sustainable? Are we headed into an AI collapse or an AI winter? One of the questions is, will it consume or overtake all the $5 trillion that get invested in IT? Mm. You know, $250 billion going into data centers per year. It seems to be yes, because um, 30% increase from $212 billion in 2022 up to $270 billion in 2023, that $60 billion differential, all the people who are spending the money are saying we're doing this because of AI. Right. So that part seems to be very real. Um, but then will it take over over a trillion dollars of software? Will it take over one half a trillion dollars of consulting? No. Yeah. You know, that's that's a, a question. Seems like it'll get some chunk of it. Question is how much. And then all the CEOs, Zuckerberg and Meta, Nadala, Microsoft, Jensen Wong, NVIDIA, they all say this is it, the real deal. Is AI is going to take over? But, you know, not an indication because they would have said the same thing during the dot-com period sure. yes. as well. So um, AI will do more than a teller machine. And then, you know, will that, um, what's left for the human to do at that point? Um, but that, so that, so that, that goes to some aspects of sustainability. Like right. is, is, you know, failure, not achieving stuff, that won't be sustainable. Success, but success in the wrong way may not be economically, financially uh, right. sustainable, right? So there's um, questions as to when that will be. And, and we won't, I think it's, that's a something that we can't sell at this point. We will have to just keep looking at it because and it could be true in one spot where it's sustainable here, in one industry, one segment, and then not somewhere else. So another segment could be wiped out entirely. So it's like a, a multiple series of complex answers. For us, um, analyzing in society be like overall okay you lose jobs here you gain jobs there overall are things better overall i think working overall is a, a stock going up so it's a so that goes to the test of sustainability you have to see it over time like you, you know like um sports you have to play the games yeah <laughs> And then uh, the middle class only had one way that they could really invest. Well, they had a couple of ways they could invest money, but the Chinese middle class doesn't have as many ways as we get to invest money over here. So they they went into those apartments figuring they were going to rent them out as vacation or rent them out to people that didn't own. Um, and that was all good for a while <laughs> until, I don't know, the first time I saw it, I think it was on 60 Minutes about 10 years ago, they were showing the ghost cities. Mm -hmm. And so NVIDIA gets themselves into kind of the same problem of potentially overbuilding, not because there isn't the demand that they see and the demand from the orders that are already coming in and the promises that they're getting made for the future, but the overbuilding that would be caused if all the other magnificent six companies decided to build their own chips. And all six of them have the capability. All six of them are in the process of at least doing some of their own chip building. Right. Um, so my view on that is that um, it's tough for to knock off the, the dominant chip player. Intel was dominant for multiple decades. And for GPUs, um, NVIDIA has been dominant now for almost 20 years, right? Like their GPUs were, were, were dominant. GPUs as a thing weren't as big for the first five whatever years, but then they got, you know, uh, bigger than Intel and and Intel could never, you know, they tried hard, but they could not make a competitive GPU. AMD could not make a competitive GPU. They make them, but they're not really competitive, right? And now the lead has gotten even bigger for NVIDIA. Right. So here I think is, is the thing of like um, Jensen Wong seems to be the CEO of NVIDIA, seems right. to be managing that company and has foresight and anticipation about it. There's also the um, the CUDA software stack, and, and basically they make you know ninety percent, ninety five percent of what the developer needs, and then it's easy to build on top of that stuff. So it's not just the chips, right? It's the whole environment that they're in, and currently because they're providing ninety seven percent of the AI chips, 
they are tuned into the ecosystem of like who's a startup, who's buying, so they can leverage that position to uh, remain ahead, to know what everyone needs by, by being in tune to it. So it's not just the chips are X times better and not just that they stepped up to a process where they're launching, going to launch new chips that are two to three times better every six months. Right. So they are not a static target. If you were saying, okay, all I need to do is catch up to the current best chip, the H100, then, okay, AMD may have already done that, right? Or, or may, may do that in, in, in a year. If they continue to execute, running ahead, innovating, you know, every six months, then the the need to, then the, well, the question of what you're saying is like, okay, Meta, um, Microsoft, all those guys, they, they buy their chips and they load up this year, next year, but then scaling the compute even necessary because either the market's not there or we make AI much more efficient. So then suddenly I don't need, I can do it with 1% of the compute. Suddenly right. the, a breakthrough success yeah. on the uh, neural network side could then shift and then, and then you don't know, like, so, oh, suddenly um, it's, it's all a hundred times easier. So then I didn't have to do an upgrade or I still may do an upgrade, but if I skip out two years of upgrades because I got a hundred percent, you know, then, then NVIDIA's stock totally tanks, you know, loses, you know, goes down to 10% of its price, 5% of its price. The AI revolution is here, but anyone old enough to invested in tech stocks knows that while Amazon and Google have done great for the last 20 years, they still have major ups and downs. Invest with caution. The AI revolution is a long-term theme.